At Hunter College, I completed two majors, uh, physics and math, and I uh, almost completed uh, chemistry. At my time, 2% of students in physics were women. But I had some very good mentors in my early career. Every time I ran into some kind of snag, they would say, oh, you can do this, you'll figure out a way. In carbon, electrons move very freely. It was a very nice kind of electron for electronics. So carbon turned out to be an extremely interesting system, and it also turned out to be a system that nobody else cared about for many years, so I had it to myself. 20 years later, somebody finally read my papers and started recognizing that this maybe was interesting. We have to think of what happens next. We're down to making uh, electronics at the level of the molecule now. We can't get much smaller than the molecule. So we need new science and we need new ideas. And there's plenty of room for young people to come in and have careers discovering those new ideas. Life is very interesting in this lane. Come join me. <laughs> One great thing about science is any discovery that you make leads to more new things to be done and what has happened before, so it's an, an endless frontier. I should thank Science Society for giving me this nice life that when I started I had no idea might happen to me. You know, sometime it's all gonna end and uh, that's okay.